All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Scales Homestead. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and uh, click that notification bell. Hit all. You'll be notified whenever we upload videos. If you're on Facebook, hit that follow button and you'll be notified when we put out new videos. So today we're going to walk around and talk about some animals. Uh, you know, we got a ton of them. So we got this little lot bunny. She, uh, well, she had babies a couple of weeks ago, but they was, uh, they were still born. They didn't, uh, they didn't make it whenever they came out. They was, they was deformed and wasn't, um, wasn't alive. So it happens sometimes. Now in here, we, uh, we got this little mama right here. She's another lot that we bred with a lion head. Hey mama, hey mama. And you see, she got, come on now. Let me get a good shot of that baby. There she is. She had two, um, but one, one did not make it. That is, uh, unfortunately just kind of how it goes sometimes, you know? They, uh, they're getting old enough now that they're kind of starting to transition from uh, from their mama's milk on to like eating feed and drinking water and things like that. Some of them don't make the transition very well. Um, and well, and that one didn't, you know, it just kind of how it is sometimes. It uh, now in this one, we got big mama right here who is a good, good mama. And as you can see in her little pen, y'all want to move around? Look at her. She got eight babies running around in there. And it's almost like she had like four sets of twins. Um, you see like, there's a white one. There's another white one over there. Watch out, buddy. Watch out. Um, these are, they're, they're three weeks old, three and a half weeks old. So there's two white ones. There's two gray ones, like that one laying right back there. Uh, there's two black ones with white inside their ears, like that little one right there in the front. You see it right there? Then the one right behind it is black with black inside its ears. And there's two of those. See, there's another gray one. Hey, mama. Hey. And she's a good mama, too. So, there's the other white one. There's the other gray one. And that's all the black ones piled up back there in the corner. And this, this is their daddy. He's a Californian. She's a Flemish. Um, she's not a giant Flemish. Hey, little one. She's not a giant Flemish. She's just a regular Flemish. Um, but we bred her with him, who is a Californian. And uh, that's, well, that's their babies right there. And that's, well, well that's why you see the albino ones. So we just picked this one up. It's another female lot, and she's really calm, really docile. Uh, some people called us, and their daughter had it, and they wasn't. Uh, well, they didn't. They won't be in the rabbit no more. So they ended up getting. They wanted to get rid of it, so we took it off their hands. And then, of course, over here is all our all our males. Old male black line head right there. That one is the daddy to the one over there. That's the single one that had the one that died. And that's a lot male and a Flemish male, Flemish male, Flemish male. Sorry, I had the camera pointed crazy. The dog was behind me. So as you see, Flemish male, Flemish male, Flemish male. So I'm about to walk in here into this loud coot. That's not a coot, we call it the brooder room. Uh, sure, y'all can hear all the chicks screaming. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Y'all need some water. On these hot days, boy, they they take out some water. I got. They take out some water fast. And of course, the more you have, the more they're going to. So. As you can see up in here, I think I counted it the other day and it was just 28 babies in here. 
Um, we got some like that one there, you see, like a couple of Rhode Island Reds in here. Uh, that's a Rhode Island Red up there. And, oh Lord, we got some mixes. We got some that are, like that one is like a mix between a uh, Light Brahma and a uh, Leghorn. Well, uh, then you got like that wicked colored one right there. It is uh, with the stripes on it. That That is a mix between an Americana and a light Brahma. The same thing. Uh, and you see we got one rooster back there in the back. See the big cone. So, but then we got like, I can't even catch one like that. Like that is a Rhode Island Red. That is probably a Rhode Island Red rooster, more than likely. But, then we got like that, it's a Dominique. We got some Osterlorks in here. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a variety of stuff in here. Some of these Osterlorks um, are not purebred. Well, none of the Osterlorks are purebred. I, I don't know how they ended up turning out so dark as they did because they, um, a bread but they well we have a couple of leghorn roosters we got a leghorn light brahma mixed rooster we have a light brahma rooster so i mean none of these except for some of the rhode island reds are purebred um that's the only ones that that are, are purebred are the rhode island reds which i mean you can see them it's that one and that one that one that one we that one over there we we hatched a bunch of those out here a while back Oh look, we got some quail eggs in here. That one broke. Yeah, yeah, that one broke. Get Zach come out here and feed these dudes. Quail eggs. For my little quail running around in there. We keep them in here, it keeps them out of the weather. Um, watch out. So, anyway, that's our future layers like i said we don't well we sell some of them but we uh we don't have to go to tractor supply and buy chickens we just we hatch them out in here and uh a prime example of that would be you better leave them alone in here so this is one of our grow out coops right here and there's nine in here couple of roosters you see one right there but uh yeah we got nine in there that's trying to get we're trying to get them big enough so they come over here and get in this pen with these big ones but they got to get bigger because these roosters is something fierce in here we're gonna walk in here check on these dudes and this is that's that light Brahma rooster I was talking about right there. That's a light Brahma leghorn mixed rooster right there. There's a leghorn rooster. And uh, what we got in here? Leghorn rooster. A bunch of different kinds of hens. Two, four, six, eight, ten eggs up in there. I had to get Zander to come up here and get them. So. It's the end of the day, and they're mad because I'm stirring them up. Every time I come out here, they think we're bringing food. So that's uh, like I was saying. That's well, that's how we get our mix. Is we have we have some uh. Well, like that's a, we got a couple of Dominique hens. We got some Americana hens. We got some Leghorn hens. Uh, so that's how we we have all these weird. Ah, no, we got a new puppy that is trying to train him into not chasing things. You know, it's not fun. Now I did put out a little short video that we had put this hen over here, what we call the triangle tractor. 
and she hatched out. We had her on eight eggs, and seven of them ended up hatching. Well, see right over there. Ain't but two left. Uh, they're a little bit more susceptible out here to the elements. Well, they, a couple of them got out, and I'm pretty sure dogs got them. So it's been uh. Well, we got two left off that back. She had seven, but we got two. Now, if you notice over here, around these geese and these ducks, and geese, well, they shedding, molting. They going through their molt. So they are, man, they are slinging some feathers off of them right now so bad. And they are everywhere. I get here and wash these pools out. They look pretty nasty. So, yeah. And over here, this little box. That's where we get our Rhode Island. Ro uh oh, one of them just broke. Yep. So, unfortunately, part of the problem is no. You see that one? It probably broke whenever she laid it. So, we do got some ducks incubating and some geese supposed to be hatching. Uh, but, to add to this flock, because we only got one female duck, so we don't get a whole lot of eggs. But, hang on just a second, y'all. I got to light this door up. But, see in here, we got all them ducks. And that's a Rhode Island red hen, Rhode Island red hen, but that is not a purebred Rhode Island red rooster. He is, but he ain't. Uh, so we got some that's kind of a, a mix, which we can, we can distinguish between those because they got some khaki feathers coming in on them instead of just solid white, uh, solid red. But, so, they, uh, We'll separate them out into breeds later on. But as of right now, that's, oh, no, I gotta go to the goats. I was gonna say that's all we got as of right now. Let me, uh, let me, put, the, let me put these eggs inside and I'll be right back. Well, while I'm inside, look at that. There's a duck and a bunch of other chickens. Well, there ain't but, I think seven chickens and one duck in there. All right, so last but not least, we got these goats out here on our little animal update. I hear you. I hear you. Come here. Come here. We got the boy side, the bachelor side. Come here. So, we got that little boy left, and an old Billy, old Billy, they all excited, and then we got these twos over here, these twos over here, who's is pregnant, they got a couple more months to go, um, I think they do in like August-ish, something like that. Hey. Hey. So, as you can see, the boys do a really good job keeping their side cut down. The girls, not so much. So, we should have some babies off of these here in for too long, a couple months. Hey, hey, hey. And I mean, they have shed some hair because of this heat. Because y'all, it is 9,000 degrees, you know. Here in central Louisiana, it is scalding hot. I mean, it's the sun's just not going down. It's still like 90 degrees, you know. I mean, it is, it is hot. It is murderously hot. So, every animal we got looks like that. They just shedding, shedding hair, shedding hair, shedding hair. Billy, what are you doing? 
He loves to get up there and rub his head on that post. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Where are you going? Come here. Why are you being all skittish all of a sudden? Huh? Come here. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Hey, Lily. Hey. I don't know why they're being all skittish today for some reason. It wasn't yesterday when I was out here and come right up to me. Anyway, they're doing good. We'll have more babies to show y'all here in a couple months. Um, goats, that is. We always got baby chickens and whatnot and all that good stuff. So, anyway, we, uh, this video is already getting kind of long, so I'm going to wrap up the talk about the animals. That's what we got going on with our animals right now, just a general update on everything. And, uh, We'll get y'all some more, some more footage of them, especially in baby bunnies as they grow up. It won't be long; they'll be off completely weaned off their mama. So, we'll uh, we'll get y'all some more footage of them later on. But anyway, we appreciate y'all supporting the channel. We appreciate y'all sharing it, commenting on it, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, y'all just keep it on, man. We're uh, we're still slow, slowly growing. I can't talk. We are still slowly growing. Everything's doing good. So. Anyway, we'll uh we'll see y'all on the next one.